Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg is ongoing, and Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, took some questions. And I have two articles here, one from The Telegraph and the other one from Reuters. The Telegraph will deal with one subject, and then uh, the other one, uh, will, the Reuters one, will deal with a few answers that Putin gave to some uh, question asked about nuclear weapons, uh, which are already deployed in Belarus, for example, and many other questions that he is going to answer. Uh, also about the nuclear weapons uh, reduction, which he says, I'm not going to do it, and he's going to tell us why, and so on. Let me start with um, the Telegraph article, and uh, here it is. It's from today, an hour ago, on the date of June 16, 2023. Vladimir Putin tells West to, and I'm quoting, go to hell, and quote, on nuclear arms reduction. In the other article that I have ready, they say they can screw themselves. This is what uh, the other article's translation is from Reuters. So let's see what this guy is saying here. Vladimir Putin told the West to, and I'm quoting, go to hell on nuclear arms reduction as he confirmed that atomic weapons have already been deployed to Belarus. And the Russian president speaking at the annual St. Petersburg Economic Forum said, and I'm quoting, we have more nuclear missiles than NATO countries, and they want to reduce our numbers, end quote. And I'm quoting uh, Putin, go to hell, end quote. He said to applause from visiting delegates. So um, this is what um, they say. Putin said that the first part of a nuclear weapon had been delivered to Belarus with a process set to be complete complete by summer. It will mark the first time Moscow has deployed nuclear weapons outside its borders since the fall of the Soviet Union. Russia is, quote-unquote, theoretically ready to fire an atomic weapon if its territorial integrity is threatened, Putin said. So here he is. All right, it says... Um, in another warning to the West, a 70-year-old Russian leader suggested Moscow may strike F-16 jets meant for Ukraine, even on NATO soil. So I was thinking about this a few days ago. Uh, F-16s cannot operate on the uh, airfields of Ukraine, according to Western experts, because of their limited distance, which F-16 supposedly uh, Technically, they need longer, and then the quality of the, um, how do you call it, takeoff, the airfield. It has to be clean and all that, and put with diamonds around and flowers and, you know, environmentally uh, friendly. Therefore, they will not be able to use them, but maybe even one point or two points, airfields. If Russia blows them up, done. So what he says that could happen is... The NATO member states that, oh, we're going to give Ukraine F-16s, but they will take off from NATO countries, NATO member countries, which is Romanian, Romania or Poland. Then mm, so that's about it, because everything else has to go around uh, Belarus, uh, the Baltic states. I'm not putting uh, Slovakia in that, even though Slovakia also is uh, having a border with, uh, with Ukraine. I know that Hungary will not do it. Russia, if you remember, at the beginning of the war, the military operation, uh, warned at one point when a Ukrainian fighter jet, a MiG, flew around and then it was chased and took refuge in Romania. So, crossed the border to Romania, obviously the Romanians allowed, him to, allowed this MiG to do it, landed in the airfield in Romania. And Putin said, or the Russians, if that airplane takes off and engages again, we're going to hit that Romanian airfield. I never heard of that airplane, air, air, airplane anymore. So I don't know what happened over there. I don't think they blew anything up, but it's probably still there or flew and uh, went like a little snake slithering to somewhere else. 
So in this case, Putin says, if NATO countries are going to facilitate the takeoff and landing of the F-16s and they will be engaged in attacking Russian targets and come back and get out of the territory, he says, well, we probably have to hit them where they are, that is, NATO countries. He said this before with uh, countries that will um, create repair hubs for the airplanes. So he said, if, if these countries, which I enumerated, which could be three only, Poland, Romania and Slovakia, create this repair hubs, not for tanks, for airplanes, we're gonna hit them. That was uh, about five, six months ago, maybe more. So let's go back. So this is what he's talking about here. So, and I'm quoting um, Putin. F-16 aircraft will burn like these tanks, end quote. He said, referring to Russian strikes on German Leopard 2 tanks. And I'm quoting, if they, the airplanes, are based in air bases in other countries but are used in Ukraine, then we will have to think carefully where to hit them." End quote. Ukraine's Western allies, including Britain, are training pilots on the fifth generation fighter jets with delivery of to the battlefield possibly within six months. I don't think, I don't think that's going to happen. And now the other article uh, that I mentioned from Reuters and says, Putin says Russia positions nuclear bombs in Belarus as warning to West. And we have here a few points. Putin confirm, confirms Russian nuclear warheads in Belarus, says more will be delivered by the end of the year, uh, nuclear weapons, says Moscow sees no need to use nuclear weapons for now, says screw the West, end quote, on arms reduction talks. So I'm quoting Putin here. As you know, we are negotiating uh, negotiating with our ally, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, that would move apart, that we would move apart of these tactical nuclear weapons to the territory of Belarus. This has happened, Putin said. The first nuclear warheads were delivered to the territory of Belarus, but only the first ones, the first part. But we will do this job completely by the end of the summer or by the end of the year. So. It is precisely an, as an element of deterrence, the uh, nuclear weapons, so that all those who are thinking about inflicting as Americans, inflicting a strategic defeat on us, are not obvious to these circumstances, are not too ob oblivious, I'm sorry, are not oblivious to this circumstance. So that means we told them, now they know this, look what's going on here. Okay, we go to the next uh, statement here. Nuclear weapons, and I'm quoting, have been made to ensure our security in the broadest sense of the word and the existence of the Russian state. But we have no such need to use them, Putin said. Just talking about this, the nuclear weapons use, lowers the nuclear threshold. We have more than NATO countries and they want to reduce our numbers. Screw them, end quote, said Putin. So, um, it says, as for demilitarization, soon Ukraine will stop using its own equipment altogether. There's nothing left. Everything on which they fight and everything that they use is brought in from the outside. Well, you can't fight like that for long, end quote, if that's true. All right, so it says here, again, this is what I said in the other, in the other article, if the, F the F-16s will be burning and we have to make sure that we know where we hit them. So, this is what uh, Putin um, answered to some questions, nuclear weapons, F-16s, um, lack of um, Ukrainian um, weapons, they rely on, on the West, they're going to hit the F-16s wherever they are, but they have to think carefully where they're going to hit them. And uh, arms controls, screw you, as you said, we're not going to do this because uh, that's it. I don't think uh, Russia needs more. I think it needs more means to uh, transfer them in a way that they could not be blown up. That, that's, I mean, they got, what, 7,000 some warheads? I think that's more than enough to... I don't know, obliviate, whatever, destroy anything they want to uh, destroy. So, this is according to, to Putin. Let me see if I missed anything here. So, nuclear weapons, 
I got that one. Then we got um, the nuclear warheads are in Belarus already. More to be delivered. No need to use nuclear weapons for now if they're not threatened. Um, screw you with the arms reduction and the F-16s will be burning. This is according to Putin. So we'll see. We'll see. It seems like he's uh, ready uh, for the long haul. We'll see uh, what the response of NATO will be, not the Ukrainians. NATO. Not that I'm discarding Ukrainians, but they didn't have the economic power to create a strong military to start with. Yes, there were 20, 38 or 39 million people at one point. Still, if they had a GDP of uh, $2,000, you can imagine their, their power. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.